um, I'd just like to say as well, like to confirm what Vashi said, that his um, his session was a real um, inspiration. It was, uh, yeah, it, it really, uh, I think for everyone in the room, really lifted us up um, to reinvigorate us for, uh, you know, fighting the, the real battles. So I'd like to invite Kay to the next. Good evening, everybody. Great. Uh, I would like to thank you so much. And I, I'm not trying to be like uh, saying nice words, but I'm trying to be. I'm, I'm sincere with all the words that I'm gonna say now, which is, I have been touring and making presentations since I was 15 years old. Maybe. I'm now 20, but since I was. <laughs> 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 and I have been making presentations with thousands of thousands of people and actually this is the first time in my life and my last presentation that I made here it was very inspiring very moving everything was like I mean while I was talking I was end up like by seeing uh, at least when, just once I looked at the audience, I saw more than 70 persons maybe were crying and showing their warm feelings towards the, the great solidarity with the, the, the people who are fighting for justice and, you know, which is, for example, for my people. And this, you know, made me like try to, like, I mean, I feel like I want to cry and I could hardly catch myself at the time because since we are children, our families teach us to not cry because the crying is not gonna help us in, in continuing our life or our struggle so and for me i have been like for the first time you know this is my second time actually to be outside uh, palestine the first time i have been uh, to europe i was invited by the swedish parliament i have been trying to get out of the country but you know i managed to get out as a diplomatic invitation and the first time of my life i got a very big uh, uh, shock because of the huge difference between where we live and, you know, the most perfect world, you know, I mean, place in the world, which is Sweden, for example. <laughs> so, so what happened there? I was shocked because, you know, to come from a place where there is all these shootings, all these killings, all these murderings, and I think the people who were in the presentation, they know what's, what I'm talking about. Also. I'm, I think most of the people should know about it. Mm -hmm. But yeah. and at once, you know, where there is no checkpoints, no army, no shootings, no nitrates, nothing, you know, and I could feel like kind of restriction for me as a human being. Mm -hmm. Because in Palestine, you know, even the animals, sorry, in Israel, in, in the world, even the animals all over the world have rights more than what we have. Yeah. And I'm just going to give you a small example of it, which is, I could see something very strange in Europe, which is, you could see uh, the dogs have special hospitals <laughs> and special health, health insurance, you know, and they have the best taking care of them. And the other side, the other side, during my time in the jail where there was a revolution, they suppressed us and they start to open the jails for military dogs. And when one of my friends beat this military dog, he got sentenced for 25 years imprisonment for beating a military dog. On the other side, we are getting killed every day, and nobody condemned it. The first child who got killed in, got killed in Elin, he was uh, the soldier who killed him. He was sentenced for one week house arrest. Oh. It's just a ten year old. So I could feel, you know, at least there was a big offer for me to stay there in Europe, but I forced myself to come back because after testing the first, the, the flavor of freedom and the reality for the first time in my life and to see what, you know, to see the sea, to see everything, to see like how life is free, even despite the capitalism, but compared to our situation, it's like heaven. So at once, just, you know, by having this taste of flavor of freedom, I came back and I was so determined to improve our struggle and telling my people about how great what we are fighting for, because The occupation is over than 60 years in Palestine, and I'm 20 years. Most of my generations were born under occupation. 
even we are fighting for freedom and liberation, but we don't know what is it is in reality. And that's why in, in, in the last presentation, actually, I got the most uh, inspiring feelings. Like, that, that, you know, my body was shaking because I couldn't just help. And I mean, I'm very hopeful for this. I'm very hopeful that the freedom is coming soon. And as we always say in Arabic that uh, as it's a very famous word when we say it, you know, as the sun, you know, as, as the, the sun shine after the darkness, the freedom will, the freedom and justice will prevail after the oppression. And we're, and you know, they cannot hide, they cannot hide the truth, you know, by anything that you do. The truth is like the sun. They cannot hide it by the one hand, you know. And with, with, together with the international solidarity pressure and with your international solidarity that is giving up the most hope and strength, we will end this racist occupation and achieve real peace and justice.